Hey guys, my name is Razlan and uh, today I'm going to show you my rental house in east coast of Malaysia. So basically, this is where I live. It's in the jungle, somewhere in uh, Southeast Asia. You can see there's actually monkeys there. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, there they are. They usually eat trash from the bins. One just attacked our bin today. And uh, this is my house. Yeah, that, that's uh, towels. We just hang them because it's like normally it's dry here. Uh, my car. And yeah, like uh, right in front of our house is actually a jungle uh, where the monkeys live. And yeah, uh, trash everywhere, palm trees and stuff. It's actually quite cold today, so um, it's not usually as hot as before. So yeah, to start off this tour, um, let me show you my front porch, this is my door. This is uh, where we used to hang out, like uh, literally, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, we can hang there, like uh, do like pull ups and stuff using the bar. So uh, from our front porch, we got a broom right here, Mr. Broom. and. Um, it's my tire. I actually broke my tire uh, once. It literally just blew off. Look at that shit. Look at that. Like, damn. How, even, how did I even survive that? I don't even know. So uh, those are our spray cans. Like for whatever. My engine oil. And uh, some random platforms. And uh, yeah. I got like a plug right there. <laughs> can see here is my friend's bike. Oh, look at it. There's a monkey. I hope they don't attack me. You know, the thing with those monkeys is they usually shit on my car. And I can't do anything about it because, like, I'm inside my house. So, yeah. Monkeys. Hey, get the f*** away, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They're nice. Let me show you my living room. Yeah, so um, it's usually just empty. Uh, we used to live down here, but like... Um, uh, we used to live down here, but uh, nobody actually needs to because like the internet connection is shit down here. Uh, as you can see, let me turn on the light. Yeah. So this is where we usually used to hang out, and that's my camera stand right there. And uh, yeah, we do pull-ups. That's me. Oh, I zoomed too far. Yeah. Hey. Okay. We got a window here. We can see outside if there's monkeys, like bothering us. And Oh. Yeah, that's my car. Vroom vroom. Let's go to the living room, let's go to the kitchen. This is our kitchen. Uh, we got this cabinet which can't actually open. If you, even if you try, probably something dead inside, so it doesn't really matter. We got a lovely place where we hang our stuff. My clothes uh, is uh, our dining table. We got three chairs, and what 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 this is is actually ketchup, but in in English it's probably soy sauce because you guys are so soy boys. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is where we put our stuff uh, as a gas cooker. There's a I don't know what's that in English, and uh, yeah. And this is our kitchen area. This is where we usually cook our dinner. Uh, we can just cook like rice or eggs and frozen stuff, which we put in this box. We call it the ice box because it's literally where we put ice and stuff. Yeah, we got chicken and stuff. And uh, yeah. Oh, this is my favorite. This is old grey tea. 
This is my favorite tea. I love this tea. What the fuck is this? Oh, hey, look at that. It's a bookmark. I didn't even know it was there. Okay, then the tea, coffee and stuff. We got rice. I slap that. <clears throat> rice. And uh, this is our kitchen sink, which would never actually close, even if you try. I don't know. I'm gonna fix that. I actually haven't fixed it since the first day. <laughs> We try like pulling it and stuff like to make it tighter, but it doesn't actually work. This is a typical thing we do in Malaysia to like uh, for protection. Actually, I think it's actually it says Muhammad. Yeah, it's it's Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, let's check our toilet. Look at this Soviet toilet. We're not actually Soviet. Look, we actually squat to shit. <laughs> Normal. It's a, I actually prefer that to actually sitting in a seat toilet because it's so weird. It actually makes you poop better, I guess. Let me show you how we poop in Malaysia. Let's go to the second floor. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, we got actually two floors in this house. So, uh, this is the living room upstairs. Uh, we just put a bunch of stuff here because there's not actually space in this house. It's okay. So, we make tea here. And that's my stuff, which is unorganized. It's my friend's stuff. Yeah. So up here, this is my my room, which I will show you later. And we got a toilet, same sitting toilet. It's my friend here. He's sleeping. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is his room. Let me show you around. Uh, that's his study table. Like, but he's like much more organized than me, so. Let me show you outside. Yeah, what a view. Welcome to Pakistan, guys. It's actually not Pakistan. Uh, all right. This is where I live. We got this Astro dish, but it doesn't actually work. I don't know why it's here, to be honest. Uh, so this is our neighbors. Can actually see stuff. Oh, look at that weather. It's not usually this cold here. Go back inside. Okay, guy. He's dead. Don't worry about it. All right. So let me show you the master bedroom. But. The ones who sleep here, and it's not actually a master, so yeah, my friends are sleeping. It's my cat. Meow. His name is Milo. Yeah. Oh, this is his food. He lives with us. He sleeps with us in his bed. It's the study table. Oops, ah, so this is the balcony of our house. Look at this. Monkeys. Ah, you know, you don't actually feed monkeys here because they the more you feed them, the more they take advantage of you. So you kind of actually do shit. Look at that. Oh my god. Normal day in Malaysia. My car. Yeah. Balcony. Let me show you my room. This is where the magic happens. Poof. Yeah. Look 
in my room. We got a laptop. We got a headphones. Yeah, I was watching some YouTube videos. Um, yeah, that's my stuff right here. Yeah, I know it's kind of messed up, but yeah, you know, boys will be boys. We got I got a flag of Britain here, which I bought like when I was visiting there. It's my grip. I love this coat. This is how I hang them. I just it it wasn't actually here when I got them, but I actually just put put up a rope, random rope here to hang my clothes. Uh, my ukulele, polyvinyl. Yeah. I love my ukulele. And uh, this is where <laughs> I know my room is actually messed up, but bear with me, guys. It's not usually like this. I mean, like it usually is, but okay, I clean it. Okay, I I freaking clean it. <laughs> Probably hungry. <laughs> so this isn't actually the best house you could find in Malaysia, of course. This is just where I live at the moment. Because it's cheap and uh, it's close to my university. Which is actually not that close. It's about uh, two kilometers, I guess. Two or one kilometer to my uh, university. And um, this is the cheapest we could find. Um, we have seven people renting this house. Uh, most of which have already went back to the States because um, everything's online anyway. So like why stay here in this place when they can go back. But yeah, I chose to stay because like if I'm at home, I wouldn't freaking study, you know. There are pros and cons to this place, to be honest. Um, pro number one, it's actually close to the town, the nearest town, which is Pekan. Uh, it has, like, you could go shopping and stuff, uh, do whatever you want. Yeah, you got that freedom, like, uh, to, uh, you know, do whatever you want but without any restrictions. Like, you could have a pet without, uh, you could have, you could uh, take care of pet without thinking about uh, you know, like restrictions and stuff. Uh, you could go anywhere, like without a curfew. Um, I think that, those are the, actually those are the only cons for living outside. I guess yeah, you got financial freedom. You, like you don't have to eat in the cafe every time. You could just like go out and eat, which is much cheaper, I guess. Or you could yeah yeah you could cook your own food. Yeah, one of the pros of uh, living outside your dorm with yeah cooking because like in Malaysia you can't actually cook in your own dorm uh, it's actually restricted but we do it anyways but uh, here if you do it you just don't get caught but, I mean like it's free you could do whatever you want and the cons about living in this place it's is actually it's this dirty as you can see from my video uh, monkeys shit on everywhere and like eat trash uh, those that are, eat trash are actually called macaques those macaques um, yeah they eat trash I think it, they're like preconditioned because uh, humans here uh, took their territory which I think this used to be like a forest or something we are forced to coexist with the monkeys like we can't kill them obviously because uh, Haram. <laughs> so uh, let me talk about the financial, the, the price of living <laughs> in this place. Uh, each person pays about 65 ringgit, which actually costs about 10 to 20, no, 15, 15 US dollars to stay here for a month. Uh, 15 years per person though. What, what about uh, 15? So 65 per person, we pay about 65 ringgit per person for 7 people in this house so which costs about 400 ringgit plus minus Despite the fact that it's freaking dirty and stuff it's actually quite uh, peaceful to live here because um, you could see like fam families around not just like 
depressed students all the time. So, it's actually not quite that bad. And, um, yeah. Since it, it's my third year of university, I have to actually live outside. But, um, yeah, that's this life. So, that's that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos on the Malaysian life, student life. <laughs> Thanks.